vlog is up, my name is Maggie and today I wanted to make kind of like a more chill video um, I really wanted to make this coffee talk things that has been kind of like a trend on YouTube uh, I love the idea so in this coffee talk I want to be talking about viral video about a girl who has 16 years old and quit high school first of all I don't mean to offend anybody I'm just trying to give my opinion about it but yeah I hope you guys like this video and if you do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to It's My DJ which is this channel and It's My DJ MX which is my Spanish channel and remember that all my social media is gonna be linked down below so you guys can follow me don't forget to share this video with all of your friends and comment down below what do you think about this kind of coffee talks and your thoughts about the video um, always in a respectful way and yeah let's get started first of all I want to say that I totally disagree with the school system we have I'm not gonna talk about why I disagree with it because this would be a long video like one hour at least so if you want me to make a coffee talk about why I don't agree with the school system just leave a comment down below. I'm gonna leave the link to her video in the description down below. I'm gonna try to find one that has subtitles in English but I don't know if I can find them so so I'm just basically gonna tell you what she said. Um, she said that she was quitting school because she wanted to follow her dreams and she was like sick of the school system and I don't know like teachers thinking they are better than students and um, that stereotype that we have to go to school and then and I don't know like get your degree and then get a house and get married and have kids and buy a dog and a car and then you will be happy and she was talking about that she's so sick of that and um, and basically that she was gonna quit it it's not Ooh. So give this video a thumbs up if you always lift this thing on your wrist. I know I think it's very important to follow your dreams and sometimes people underestimate the importance of being happy and having mental health like that is so important but even though I don't agree with the school system I think high school is the base of education like if you want you can skip college and be a freelancer or whatever it's your dream but I think you should not quit the base of your education like if you don't agree with something I don't think that the the way to to make it better or to do something about it is quitting it you know I think that our school system is incomplete and if you're dropping out of school, you're not even getting the least education they are giving to you. And just because you're going to school, I don't think you should settle with just the things they are teaching you because like you should cultivate yourself, read and learn outside of school. If you have a doubt, search for it in the internet, google it, I don't know, read a book. But ju don't just settle with the things they are teaching you at school because that is not going to be enough. Most important life lessons are not taught at school. But that doesn't mean you have to quit that. Because if you quit, you're not even getting that education. You're not getting anything at all. And if you don't quit, I motivate you, I invite you to keep starting to cultivate yourself as I have said because if we want to fight against it we have to be better than that system I understand that she wanted to quit because she wanted to follow her dreams because I'm gonna repeat this a lot of times in this video but, but you don't have to quit high school the base of your ed education to follow your dreams you have probably heard this but we live in a century where information fits in the palm of your hand like literally so if you want to learn a language, don't wait until you graduate or until you're old. Just start learning. I study daily German for free in my house with my phone. And it's literally free. Like if you can if you can have internet then you can learn it. And for those who don't have internet or something like that, 
you can buy a book about it. You, like, there are books on how to learn a lot of things. Like, you don't have to settle with the things school teaches you. You have to cultivate yourself and you can start accomplishing your dreams and your goals no matter what age you are. There are kids that are 12 years old and they already have their own company and guess what? They still go to school. And they are millionaires. Stop waiting your whole life to be happy. Stop waiting for Friday to be happy or, or the weekends and start enjoying every single day you're living because you're alive and make the most of it. And yes, there are gonna be sad days or sad weeks but don't give up just because of that. And yes, you're gonna fall a lot of times, but you have to get up and keep trying. And don't put high school as an excuse for not being able to accomplish your dreams. High school is a path you have to go through to get to your goals. Like, it's not an obstacle. Don't say it like that. And don't put an excuse like, Oh my god, like, I cannot do this because I go to high school. Like, if you really want to do something, I think you can find the time to do it. Not having the time because you go to high school, that's a big excuse. And yeah, I know that there are a lot of dreams that take a lot of time. And maybe that is why she was telling that she didn't have enough time with high school and stuff like that. Because yes. There are dreams that take all day, every single day. But you're living in this moment. And this moment is the moment you have to go to high school. Maybe you won't be able to accomplish every single dream. But you can start working on it, you know? I don't know, if you're in high school and you want to study architecture, for example, start reading about architecture. Start learning about it. You don't have to wait until college until somebody teaches you about architecture. Start reading and investigating and doing what you love and don't put high school as an excuse. If you want to have your own company and stuff like that, start doing it. Like, we are totally able to do it. You don't have the money. Go to quickstar.com and you can probably get the money from there. You can probably get someone to pay your project or something like that. There are so many things that you can do to accomplish your dreams and you don't even have to quit high school. And yeah, if you still don't have time to accomplish your goals and you feel like that is not enough, then you're gonna have to hang there for a while because high school is something you have to go through. And yes, life is not always easy and if you want to aspire to big goal, you will have to do a lot of things that you don't like to get to that goal. And yes, there are gonna be so many things harder than high school and what, you're gonna quit because because you're sick of it and stuff like that. No, like that is not the point. Like if you want something, fight for it. And you can accomplish everything you want. If you really fight for it, if you really have passion for it, and if you really understand that not every single moment of your life is gonna be happy and that sometimes you're gonna have to do things that you don't like but are gonna be worth it and are gonna be good for your future. I wanted to talk to you guys about a YouTuber called Bethany Lee. That is a really hard name for me to pronounce. Well, this YouTuber, I'm gonna try putting her here. Um, she dropped out of college, but um, it's college is not like university where she lives. I think she lives in England or I don't really remember where she said she lived. She explained that where she lives, there's kind of like an extension of high school called college, that college and university are not the same thing. So she quit college to be a full-time YouTuber. The only way I would agree with quitting it is that someone is responsible about it. And um, um, I just told you guys why I don't agree with quitting high school. But uh, now I'm going to be talking to the ones who want to quit it. Um, this girl was 
very responsible of her actions, of her choices. This youtuber I'm talking about. Before she quit high school, she was already independent. What do I mean with this? Her parents don't pay anything for her, like she pays taxes, rent, um, her apartment, her car, her gas. I know, like she pays everything by herself. So she's already independent. I think she's 17. And YouTube is her main source of income. So she is already able of living out of YouTube. And not just that, she she thought about the future and she really thought about it. She said, YouTube is not always going to be there. And if it's not like how am I gonna live if I didn't finish college and I was getting my source of income out of YouTube. So she already have kind of like a store, I think, a store, some sort of projects out of YouTube. So she kind of like has a plan B, a backup plan. So she's already independent, she's thinking about the future, in a realistic future, and she already has a, sort, a main source of income. So she's basically responsible about it. What I'm trying to say is that if you're gonna drop out of high school, be responsible and independent. Don't be that kind of teenagers that drop out of high school and live on their parents' house and play video games or lay or something like that. At least if you're gonna drop out of high school, be independent and responsible and think about the future and stuff like that and never ever stop learning. I don't know about your country but Mexico has one of the lowest levels of education and there's people motivating other people to drop out of school so I don't know, that kind of leaves me shocked. So basically my conclusions are that I don't believe You should quit the base of your education to follow your dreams. You should always be motivated to cultivate yourself, to learn, not to settle with the things that your school teaches you. That if you are leaving school, that you should always be motivated to learn every single day. In that you should be responsible and independent. So that was basically my opinion on that video. Um, Guys, remember to be respectful in the comments down below that I'm not trying to criticize anyone, that I'm not trying to offend anyone. I'm just trying to give my point of view and what and my thoughts about it. So yeah, I hope you guys like this kind of videos. Don't forget that all my social media is gonna be linked down below so you guys can follow me. Share this video with other of your friends and, and comment down below if you guys like this video, what do you think about it and if you want me to make more coffee talks. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Got my coffee ready, so let's go. Bye. No creo que debas dejar la base de 